So I've been trying to draw this guy for a while and I always keep messing up because I'm like, hey, I don't like the way he looks here and I don't like the way he looks there. What's my process when I start drawing? I just sketch out the body. And honestly, I don't even know where I was going with this pose, what kind of pose I was going to give it. I just, just winging it. So I'm putting in the elements or rounding out the body, the form, hands. Man, I hate hands. Hands is pretty much one of the things I hate drawing, but I have to because they're so expressive. So I've been trying to practice head. Oh, kind of head and now his original design kind of didn't work for me so i was trying to do something different and still keep some of the same elements that he had but uh, for some reason uh, i didn't like the face i was like eh, maybe a little smaller it was a little too joy his jaw was a little too big for me <laughs> I kind of like the red pencil better because it allows me to see a little more. I used to use a blue. A lot of this red that bleeds through when you erase it at the end kind of lends to the end. They don't do a great job of erasing after inking. Just throwing in some little speckles here. It used to be called quill pen. It's just very smooth to draw in the shapes. So one of my favorite tools to use, but I, I don't normally use these for when I do a commission. Only this is just my sketching pen. My sketching ink pen, I should say. And it's just really, really smooth. Puts down some really smooth lines, but I'm assuming I haven't tried it on rough paper. I think it's 90 pound paper I use. But the lines just feel so smooth when I put them down, just bringing out some of that sketch. Thank you. 
Now, if you're wondering who, what character this is, it's not really a hashed out characters for the show comic yet. Um, it's pretty much based on a character that my buddy Lorenzo drew uh, back in psh, God knows how long. I'm going to say we were 16 years old. And he had this cool little sketch notebook that he drew all these weird characters in. I'm mostly trying to bring them back to life. This is one of the ways that I kind of warm up for any big projects. Now, it's, it's great to have side projects, but also personal ones. I particularly love to do just random sketches every every so often when I'm not in the mood to draw and yep unfortunately I do get like that I there are times where I don't feel like drawing but doing one of these kind of redrawing something from my past kind of gets me into the mood so with this pen that I have here kind of throw in the darks any dark shadows I put down first I go in and I do something that I call the contour lines, which is the thick outlines. Not sure why, I kind of love the thick outlines at the end of every piece that I do. It's just been one of those habits that I've developed. I can, I can't do it differently, I just sometimes feel like it needs it. But again, that's all preference. Not everybody draws the way it is. The way I do, not everybody does this. Usually people do a thick and thin line. Uh, depending on the weight or the shadows or where the light the source is coming from. I just I mean, I kind of vary the line in weight sometimes, but not all the times. You know, for a sketch, this is cool. I'm still not feeling the costume. I think the costume needs a lot of work and I'm probably going to revisit this piece. But I just wanted to show you a little bit of my process. done here so again this took about 20 minutes to draw and I was in the zone not really uh, paying too much attention to anything else around me once I finish I kind of throw in some of the shadows uh, and I, I use I use the technique that I use on the digital side uh, when I do my digital work. I, I throw in a different layer of a very light purplish color. Uh, I, I say I use a 20% opacity or 30% to kind of show the shadow. So I do that with the red pencil here just to keep that keep that in mind where where's my light source where's where my shadows go and whatnot not too fond of the big thick blacks and I do have to practice that it sometimes makes the piece pop out of the paper a lot more well this is it that's just the date sign it well not sign it but always date your stuff always date your stuff that way you can come back and remember what you did in the